Hey guys, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to take a look at our newest deal, the Acoustic Revolutions Bundle from Impact Soundworks. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so this deal comes with three different libraries, uh, Acoustic Revolutions 1, 2, and 3. Now this one I have loaded up here is Acoustic Revolutions 3. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. So Acoustic Revolutions 1 and 2 are not contact instruments. They're just WAV files that you can um, you know, drag and drop into your project, and they include stuff like this. <laughs> So you have different BPMs, different keys and chords and everything um, all organized over here. So essentially, Acoustic Revolutions 1 and 2 are just acoustic guitar loops with different rhythms, arpeggios, um, strum patterns, and stuff like that. So that was Acoustic Revolutions Volume 1. Um, just to give you, you know, an idea of how much content is in there, it's all, you know, over here. So you get, you know, a nice amount for each of these different folders here and the different BPMs and stuff like that. Then we have Acoustic Revolutions 2, which is similar So you get some really nice, you know, very nicely recorded loops. Now, where things get really exciting to me is when we get into Acoustic Revolutions 3. Now, this is a full-fledged contact library. You will need the full version. And this actually contains more content than Acoustic Revolutions 1 and 2 combined because it's a lot more complex. So let me show you how this works. We have different chords here in the blue keys. And you can load over here up to 48 rhythms. So, for instance, we'll go with rhythm 1, which is this key right here. So I'm just holding down um, these, these blue, and then they turn green. Those keys, you know, change which rhythm you're doing. And then down here will change the chord. So you can just, you know, load up to 48 different rhythms and then play the chord progressions that you want. So you also can use these keys down here to have, um, you know, just kind of an ending to that rhythm. So you have like these, you know, short falls or little strum patterns that basically just wrap up that uh, progression. As you notice, it kind of keeps playing even when you let go of the key just so the rhythm kind of plays out and then you can have... Um, for instance, if the next measure then uh, needs to just, you know, ring out just like this. 
you can you can do that as easily as using these bottom keys so you can load up any of the rhythms that you want you know there's also this is rhythm mode full it takes advantage of all of the keys there's also compact which doesn't use all of the keys I'll show you there we go we only have a, a half of those so we'll just load some up and you know take a minute to load when you have all of these in and then we'll hear what the different rhythms sound like although you already you know basically got an idea of that there's also different ways to do the fret mode which is how it actually uh, determines what chords are going to be played so you can have manual and play the actual chord on the piano intelligent and auto chord I'm just using the intelligent mode right now uh, if you want to know more about this not only is it all you know very nicely explained right here um, but also in the manual to show you exactly how everything works it's not a very long manual and it's very informative and so make sure you take a look at that alright so everything's about loaded up See, it takes about four gigs of RAM to load everything up because um, that's how you know having that compact mode is helpful, and you can't don't have to load everything up. Obviously, you can just are supposed to use what you need. So, uh, in order to figure out what all these rhythms sound like, we'll just you know take a listen, and then you can choose which ones you want loaded up. You also look right here, it shows you how it's going to be played. So it's going to play and then stop. And uh, those X's uh, are the, the mutes are just playing across the strings, uh, strumming like this. So you get the idea. This little nice graphic here shows you exactly how it's going to be played to give you an idea before you actually press the key. Wait for these to load and you'll hear how these are different over here. You can now see we are in 6-8 time as opposed to 4-4 four, four when we're down here. So you see when we're in manual mode right here, this is how you actually uh, pick which chord is going to be played. So you play the root note and then the selection. The selection over here goes from major to minor, augmented, diminished, seventh, minor, seventh, uh, um, suspended and stuff like that. So you can see uh, this is for where your guitar player or you know exactly what chords you want and you want to really go in depth with it. And then we have auto chord over here. So there you have it. It's fairly, you know, it's a powerful instrument, but it is pretty simple to use. So, you know, just load up your rhythms over here. Um, you have multiple ways of picking out which chords you want um, from the intelligent all the way to 
auto chord and then the manual which you can really go in use these red keys to pick exactly what chords you want to play um, so you can you know write acoustic songs like this for pop rock EDM um, anything really that would need this kind of music so you know you have these great sounding acoustic guitar strumming patterns and while Acoustic Revolutions 1 and 2 com contain those kind of predetermined chords and riffs, Acoustic Revolutions 3 is where you'll really get to dive in and determine, you know, what chord progressions are going to be played and how they're going to be played and what patterns and everything. So it's a really useful tool for any songwriter for pretty much any genre. So that has been a quick look at the Impact Soundworks Acoustic Revolutions Bundle really great piece of software great sounding acoustic guitar samples and wave files so um, the acoustic revolutions 3 will need the full version of contact keep that in mind so thanks so much for checking this out with me uh, remember to like comment subscribe let us know what you think and turn on those notifications so you know when we go live again and i will see you guys soon thanks so much